smacking your head in like weirdos. <laughs> Two days! Yeah! Oh, look at that! Finally, it's time to eat! Seriously, it's been over three weeks since our last My Singing Monsters video. And that's a long time and I'm starving. Oh, and we have other stuff as well. What's ping pong ping? A tusky? I don't know who the- are they new? I think this guy is from Amber Island. I have never. I have never never seen this guy before though. So yeah, finally, welcome back to My Single Monsters. We're gonna collect all these new monsters here because it is, uh, the St. Patrick's Day event thing going on here, whatever it's specifically called in My Single Monsters. That's currently being had. And the most excited I am for this ha has to be the epic for deal here. Here. I-, I <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't even speak. But this might just be the best epic so far. Look at it, it's absolutely glorious. It's whimsical. It's fantastical. It's all things magic. And it costs 1,000 diamonds. But yeah, I'm finally ready to get back into this here. It's been too long. Like I said, I've been starved, but now it's time to eat. We've got some cool new monsters to check out here. So the first thing we're gonna do is probably get the ones that cost relics, because I believe those ones cannot be obtained through normal breeding. I need to remember all the tips and all the tricks that you guys have been telling me throughout all the time we've been playing this game. I'm straight away getting this guy, Pong Ping. There's a persistent cliche that you can either be a music fan or a sports nerd, but not both. And the Pong Ping proves otherwise, even though it's vermin form body is better suited to standing activities like table tennis. The monster also loves embarking on cross island marathons no matter how long they take. To keep its spirits up on the way the ping pong ping uses its paddles to practice a series of rhythmic rudiments on its inflatable cheeks. When intense weather or fatigue threaten to discourage. The monster likes to remember the optimistic Adage, its forebears always used to say, Life is like a music box of chocolate. Wait, why are there chocolates in a music box? What a mess! Oh well, let's get started on cleanup. We know it's kind of convoluted. Either way, convoluted or not, we're buying this guy up here. One day five. Oh, as always, I feel for those who go free to play in this game. I've said it many times, and I'll say it many more. How do you do it? Claps to you all, pats on the back, you know? I just couldn't wait out here. But yeah, we're gonna spend up the diamonds we have. We haven't really got that many this video, and I'm praying when we try to get the epic for deal that we don't have to go through all my diamonds. I am praying. There's been way too many cases where I've had Kind of like a couple of K diamonds, and then I have absolutely nothing by the end of the video. But the egg is ready, bala bing bala boom! Look at that! Pong Ping! I love it! So is it actually based on like Boris Gump then? We had the quote. Basically had the quote. It was a reference to that, surely. Look at it go though! Oh! His cheeks did inflate. They got very large. They did. I hardly sat him down the moment I did. He was drumming away. He was ping-ponging. Oh, I was wondering how to get the rare version because, yeah, you need the relics for most of these, like, fiery monster guy things. But the rare version? I was wondering if it would have been more relics, but it may just be only through star power, which, thankfully... I should have an abundance of. I think I have a lot and I've learned my lesson. If anything is in the star shop, it means it cannot be obtained through breeding. Do you lot remember that one episode where I was trying to get one of the rare monsters and it was on the star shop and I was just wasting my diamonds. Who remembers that one? Oh, and this rare elephant too. I have 23K. I just have enough. We're gonna get him first though. Okay, there's a new bio here. As befits any great athlete or musician, the rare pumping has absolutely phenomenal hair. 
Not that you should ever be distracted by something superficial like that when you're assessing a being sportsmanship or musicality, but it never hurts. Unlike the slapdash paddles of its common cousin, the rare carefully crafts, ornate and sturdy fans that can also double perfectly as marshalling wands that can safely guide flying visitors to taxi safe successfully, since the fans are quite a bit sharper as well. Extra care must be taken when striking its inflated cheeks, but that's no issue for the rare Pongping who practices mindfulness and meditation. These descriptions, man, I, I love them. They are, they are seriously something else. Who comes up with this stuff? All right, rare Pongping acquired one day 15. That's insane. Oh, look at the egg. I like the eggs. I do like the eggs. Bala bing, bala boom. There we go. I'll put the rare version right here. There we go. All right. So does it have the same animation? I suspect it does. Just like the common version here. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're parallel. Okay, next up. Tusky? Probably saying that wrong. Let's buy it up. All right. Two days. Have I ever seen anything that's been over two days? How do you three to place go through this? The pain, the torture you must feel. Oh, I like the egg. Oh, yeah, the snowy mountains, the trees. That's cool, man. I love elephants, mammoths. Kind of the combination here. And I love snow and all oh, things wintry. This is my thing. I tried making room before getting this guy, anticipating the... Yep, okay, that's good. I was anticipating the uh, weight here and I knew he would be rather large, but there we go. Hey, for an elephant, he's looking kind of small. I mean, he's, he's level one, so that's probably why he's looking rather small. Let's make him bold. He's going in. There we go. Woo. That's cool. Maybe I should move him down a little bit. He might be able to get... Yeah. That's it. I want the trunks to be in front of the uh, Pong Ping a little there. There we go. That's great. we got to read about this guy. The big Tusky abides by simple philosophy. Staying chill when life throws something unexpected at you. Wherever it roams, the cold tap of bus can generate its own frosty con con content content condensation and offers its services as a private snowmaker on its own time the tusky will seek out hills and mountains blanket them with snow and use its tusks to uproot the miniature carnivorous trees on its back then it erases them in specific configurations and makes use of the uniquely adapted nails on its hind feet to whisk down the slopes and participate in what it calls 10 Pine bowling! Even though it's personally enthralled by this pastime, others do not share the quince enthusiasm and says it's boring. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like your opinion, mon. Alright, time to get the rare man. Look at that. What do I prefer? The trees are way more wild here. That's nearly itching three. I definitely haven't seen three days. That would be 100% a personal record that my eyeballs would not be able to comprehend. Look at the egg as well. Speaking of insane. All right, bala bing, bala holy heck, and boom, baby. We got the rare as well. That's nice. That is nice. I think I might like that one a little more. I don't know, the, the wacky trees, man. Just the whole design in general being a 100 times more whack compared to the common version. I do like it. I guess this one will have a different description as well, so let's read it up, shall we? Back when the world was whole, a group of dauntless tuskies embarked on a voyage over the perilous mountains of the cold lands. They were seeking the optimal grove of conifers to engage in some 10 pine bowling but ended up getting cut off from the rest of the monster world for countless generations. Only recently in the commentary era have they renewed contact, and it's obvious that the long-term exposure to the chilling cold of the mountains made these cold top bosses even colder. Now covered in a, a veritable forest of firs and their four ski toenails, 
replaced by two board-like plates, might they now more aptly be called tusks and snurfers? That would take some getting used to. Again, these descriptions. Who comes up with this stuff? Not to toot my own horn or anything, but this island is looking hot. Look at that. Look at all of our monsters here. We got most of the rares, we got most of the epics. We got all the commons. But it's time to actually get epic for deal here. Oh man. I wasn't lying when I said this is probably the best epic in the game so far. At least in my personal opinion. We're gonna need Plady here. We're gonna use our highest leveled one. And then we're gonna need a Hippity Hop. And we're gonna see what level we have. We only have a level 13 Hippity Hop. We'll see how that goes through now though. Five hours, that is not an epic time. I'm not going to pretend I'm expecting this in a few tries. I'm not even gonna, going to pretend I'm expecting this in the next 10 tries, to be honest. I'm fully prepared. I'm fully ready to get countless fails here. But I actually want to go through with you every single one. I don't want to edit them out. I normally do and kind of rush to the monster, but... I feel like that kind of makes it more anticlimactic and you don't really get my full reaction. You don't really see me go through the absolute pain and the absolute torture of getting most of these monsters here when I do that. So yeah, you're joining me on this. You've got to buckle up. You've got to get your popcorn. you got to get your snacks. <sighs> We're in this together. I'm pushing the accelerate and you're in the backseat and you ain't getting out. You're stuck on this ride with me here. So we're gonna keep going. I may actually level up the hippity hop. I swear I heard some time ago from you lot that if they're higher levels, you've got better chance with the rarer breeze, like when you're trying to get an epic, when you're trying to get a rare, etc., etc. So in the next few tries, if we don't get what we're trying to get here, yeah, that hippity hop, it will be fed. Those calories will go into its mouth hole. It will, if it likes it or not, be bulking up. It will. So we're going to continue again. For a few of them here. We're not getting very lucky, though. This is what happens. The actual Epic Padil does cost a straight 1,000. So it would be a shame if we actually managed to go over that. We're trying to hope to at least get this under a 1,000. I would be very pleased if that happens. Nope, not that time. I may do the feeding. I don't know how much it will help, but... I will feed the hippity hop just a little bit here. I think this is the one we're using. So we're going to get to at least the same level. Level 16. I still haven't got any monster to level 20. And that's something I've been kind of wanting to do for a video. Because isn't that the max level? Doesn't something special happen? I'm not entirely sure, but I think that would be best probably for another video. I don't know. If it's not worth it, maybe let me know in the comment section down below. And speaking of not being worth it, currently doing the breeding here. I don't know how many we're in. If you lot have been counting, let me know the steps. Let me know the numbers it has taken. We are only getting hippity hop as well. Do we not get any other monsters from this combination? I guess we don't. And the thing is, Epic Fadil will likely be on Seasonal Shandy as well. Do I dare try get it over there? I don't know. This may be my limit. If we don't get it soon, then it's very likely I will not attempt to get it at Seasonal Shandy. I don't know. It depends how long it takes here, and then maybe I'll try it over there. But I don't know. Let's keep going. That love him. You gotta try and try again! It's just a hippity hop, man. When we see that five hours, or whatever that initial timer is, that below single digit number, yep, that five hour 50, we know it's not good. We know we're not getting anything special here. We know it's not our epic for deal. I'm wondering if this is the right combination. This happens every time, it always goes over in my head. Like, if I'm not getting it very soon, and if it takes a while, I always back up on myself and think, wait, am I even doing the right combination? I hope so. Can we do it this time? 
Oh, still not here. I was slightly praying there. I was taking a little more time to breed them up, you know. I wanted them to get acquainted just that little bit more to see if it would work. But apparently, it did not work. We can just keep retrying it here, though. Oh, it does actually pain me each and every single time. It pains me. It does hurt. Can we do this? 19. Okay, that's different. No way. Wait, it, that seems really low, though. That seems really low. Maybe I'm too used to these fire elemental relic ones being like two days. Oh, please be... I hope it's not Pladdy. That's gonna sting so badly. Let's have a look. Yes! Woo! There we go! Beautiful! Oh, I thought for a split moment it was gonna be Pladdy. It would've hurt. But thankfully, I've been blessed. Woo! The lords of my and monsters have gave me their grace. Have gave me their gift! Epic for deal! Oh, that's nice. Woo! Balab oh, let me just look at the egg. A bada bing, bada boom, baby. Alright. Look at that! Oh! That is fantasy right there. There we go. It looks so good. It looks incredible. We gotta see the description of this one here. If ever there was any doubt that Fidel belonged on Fairy Island, one needn't look any further than its form, its epic takes when it manifests on that magical island. Between those gossamer wings and miraculous white locks and fiddlehead antennae, it has all the makings of a true fae. The two-a-day of local legend, the fable recounts that the titan, Fisod, once dwelled among crystal clear skies. But this all changed with the arrival of dark clouds and heavy mist. These clouds bloated out the sun and it was during this time of uncertainty that the Toa Day first manifested. The debate of whether or not this storied figure and epic Fadil are one and the same continues to this day. All right, there's some new juicy monsters to be had. So let's listen to the song from the beginning here. Look at this, man. Again, it looks hot. Come on. This is half. This has to be one of my favorite islands I have. It's got to be. It looks so good. Ah, I love the build so much. And with the epic now, I even love it. That looks more. I think it does have a different animation on Not completely sure. It does. Oh! And it's like petals, like the dress petals. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it glows like that. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Yeah, it's not the longest song, but it does sound good. It's short, it's simple. Yeah, there we go. One of my favorite parts, though, the Kanyas. But you thought we were done? No, there's one more monster to be had here. I believe Rare Bonkers is completely new, and as always, Thank you guys for still, still supporting me on my single monsters, lighting up my torches when they need to be lit here. Super thankful, super appreciated. So yeah, rare bonkers is a thing that I 
Yeah, I think it's completely new, I'm pretty sure. You lot have been telling me, we're bonkers. Wow, it looks weird, it really does. So we're gonna get that quick, and I think that's basically the major stuff to be had in this update. If there's anything I've missed, anything else you want me to do, as always, let me know, know in the comment section down below and smack the like button. Of course, I always read up your comments, reply to as many as you as possible. So yeah, let me know your feedback. But we need to use Potbelly and their mind, which is very interesting. That's kind of a random combo. Nine hours? Could that be it? Hey! I changed up who I was using for breeding. I used Gloptic and the regular Bonkers. Apparently that was slightly a better chance. And a... Yeah! I mean, it could have been a coincidence, but I guess it was because I got it in fewer tries than trying the other combination I was doing. There we go! Ooh, balabing, balaboom. What is up with that egg? It had like a little belly button thing and then like a bump. I, I really don't know. There we go. Rare bonkers. That looks strange. Why do they look so shaggy do? I don't know. Why are they all hairy and whatnot? I, I guess the other ones were hairy as well. But these are hairier. These have shaved a little less than the others. They have. They're way more unshaven. Okay. I don't really know how to put you right now. I just put you there, I guess. Have a quick look at you. Smacking your head in like weirdos. <laughs> but we're gonna end it there. Again, as I said throughout the video, if there's anything I missed or anything else you want me to do in this game, I was thinking of checking out the uh, Colosseum thing. I felt like that's something many people who check out my sing monsters don't really do. So I thought that may be a fun video. And of course I haven't done Amber Island. And I probably missed some other stuff to do with this update. So let me know what you want to possibly see in the next My Singing Monster video. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of whatever the heck else we do around here, you know what to do!